Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am here with a look at the Funko Pop of Officer K from Blade Runner 2049. I've recently got some pops that I initially passed on getting during their original release that I have now decided to go back and fill in some of the holes in my collection. And filling in one of the holes in my Blade Runner collection is this K-pop. I think Funko did a good job with the head on this. I don't know if it's a repurposed head, but the hair certainly reads enough like K's hair in the movie, and I think they did a good job with the painting of his scruff, minus that little, you know, nick right there. But I think the eyebrows are really what sells the head here because it certainly conveys like the intense kind of emotions and attitude that, that K is going through in Blade Runner 2049. But the body is really where this, this uh, pop is at, because I think they did a great job sculpting his coat. I think the coat is a really cool looking coat in the movie, and I think the way they sculpted the, the furry collar, the texture of his shirt is pretty good, and the details on the gun look really, really good in such a tiny scale. Uh, one little thing that concerned me about buying this pop, like what, five years after the movie came out, was uh, whether I was getting a fake or not. Now the box, when I was looking at it in stores, looked real. The one thing that I will point out is a little weird is that the, uh, the disc for the neck has quite a bit of a gap between that and the actual hole for the head. But the, uh, it's got, if it's a fake, they did a good job replicating the uh, 2017 uh, copyright from, from Alcon Entertainment. So yeah, anyway. I dig this pop a lot. Um, I think it looks awesome on the on the shelf. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this pop, or let me know in the comments whether you think this pop is real or fake. Uh, if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.